guys, welcome back to another video, and today we have my NFL Week 6 recap. So, um, to start it off, I this week I went 11 and 4. Yeah, 11 and 4. I'm sorry, I should have think about that, but yeah, I went 11 and 4 this week. Um, the that's the best that I've ever done yet this year. Um, 11 and 4. So let's go over the games first of all. The first one, Bills 49ers. Again, the Bills game is always at the top because the Bills are my favorite team. But they demolished the 49ers 45-16. The Bills looking really good. But um, today, actually, they just got two injuries. LaShawn McCoy and Robert Woods. Hopefully, they will be ready to go on Sunday. Um, But, yeah, nice win for the Bills over Colin Kaepernick and the 49ers. Colin Kaepernick did not look too good either. And, uh, yeah, so... Next up was the Chargers and Broncos. The Chargers, I actually picked them to win that game, and the Chargers pulled it out. So the Chargers are now 2-4 and four as they beat the Broncos. And, um, yeah, I got that one right. So good win for the Chargers. Broncos at the end of the game. That Hail Mary did not work. Um, Yeah, and that Google Play services has stopped thing is probably going to pop up for the rest of the video because that means I have no storage. Still haven't got to deleting stuff yet. I'll do that soon. But um, anyways, the Jaguars beat the Bears 17 to 16. First one I got wrong, so right now I'm two and one. But yeah, the Jaguars with a comeback victory over the Bears. Not much to say. Um, but the Bears were so close two games in a row now against the Colts and Jaguars that they were so close to winning, but lost both of them. So good win for the Jaguars. Now two and three. Um, so yeah, next up, Lions and Rams is back and forth all game long, but in the end, the Lions decided that they wanted to win it. Now, both these teams are 3-3, three and three. Lions, two wins in a row, Rams, two losses in a row. Um, so, at this point, 1-0, 2-0, 2-1, right now 3-1, and one. next one is also wrong, actually, so 3-2. and two. The Dolphins got the win over the Steelers, 30-15, to 15. that obviously was a surprise. Um, the Steelers did not look too good. Ben Roethlisberger got injured, fell 15 points short of winning. They lose to the Miami Dolphins, so 3-2 and two now. Um, then the Patriots, first game at home this season with Tom Brady at starting quarterback. They win it over the Bengals, 35-17. The Bengals fall to 2-4, and four. and yeah, now 4-2 and two for me. Next up, um, I also got this one right, the Saints. Beat the Panthers. Saints are fifteen and one last season. Six games into this season, they're one and five. They might go one one and fifteen this season. That would be definitely interesting. But the Saints win the high scoring game. Now five and two. Next up, also right, Giants beat the Ravens in a good game. Um, now six and two. But yeah, Odell Beckham Jr. Nice play near the end of the ball game to get that touchdown. And then at the end of the game, Joe Flacco and the Ravens offense couldn't get anything going to try to score. Giants win it twenty seven twenty three. So that is, hang on, um, so 1-0, 2-0, 2-1, 3-1, 3-2, 4-2, 5-2, 6-2, okay, next up, the Titans got the win over the Browns, that's what I picked, so 7-2, and two. um, so far, the Titans, with the, they're surprisingly 3-3, three and three. the Browns still looking like they're trash, and the only team with still no wins, next up, again, another correct game, Redskins on a three, you know, four game winning streak. They started zero and two, now four and two. So that game puts me at eight and two so far. But yeah, good good win for the Redskins with the Eagles now two straight losses. Next up, I got this one wrong. Pick the Raiders. The Chiefs are now three and two, and I believe the Raiders are four and two, both in the same division. But the Chiefs have had a bye week. The Raiders have not. So yeah, nine and or no, eight and three actually. Um, next up, got this one right. The Cowboys beat the Packers 30-16. to um, The Packers didn't look too good, and the uh, Dak, Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys are now 5-1 and one as the Packers are 3-2. and two. So, I believe 9-3. and three. Next up, another game that was wrong. Um, the Seahawks got the win over the Falcons, 26-24. Um, that was a good game. At the end of the game, though, I do think that Richard Sherman... Had pass interference there on Julio Jones, but they didn't call it. Um, that was up to the refs, but I think it was a bad call. But the Seahawks did get the job done, which puts me at, I believe, 9-4, and four, I think. Yeah. Um, next up, the Texans beat the Colts 26-23 in a good game. I picked the Colts in that one. Got it wrong. So, 9-4. and four. But, um, yeah... Um, not much really to say about that game other than the Texans looked a lot better near the end of the game than I thought they would. The Colts, so close to getting that win, but they're now 2-4 and four, as the Texans are two games ahead of them in the division at 4-2. and two. 
Final game, Monday night. The Cardinals beat the Jets 28-3. to Um, Not much to say other than the Jets lo- are looking terrible. I've already heard that they are benching Geno Smith and Ryan... I mean, wow, can't speak. They're benching Ryan Fitzpatrick, and Geno Smith is going to start this week for the Jets. So, yeah, the Cardinals are now 3-3, three and three and the Jets are 1-5. and five, So that put me at, wait, 10-4. and four. Yeah. Must have miscounted because I know it was eleven and four because that would mean fifteen games and there was only two teams on by Vikings and Buccaneers, so I don't know why I got ten and four. I must have missed one, but I know it was eleven and four, which does put my overall at fifty and forty two. Fifteen forty two my current overall. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. My predictions for week seven is gonna be uploaded tomorrow. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And maybe I can keep up my winning streak next week in week 7. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, So yeah, tell me your thoughts on week 6's games. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.